hopefully my phone doesn't fall. So today we're going to try and rehalter Diablo. Um, a lot of people don't know, the first time you ever go to rehalter a horse, especially a wild one, it doesn't always go as planned. It can go sometimes seemingly kind of cruel and whatever, because the whole point is, is once they get over the drama of, oh my god, you're putting something on my face, then they get better. He keeps going for the beat pulp, which is why he keeps coming near me. So I'm going to move the beat pulp bucket. Now, I make my beet pulp with hot water, so make sure if you do make beet pulp with hot water that you can pick it up by hand and squish it. And if it feels too warm for your hand, you wait for it to cool because you're going to burn their mouths. You're going to get a bit of wind interference, but my horses broke my other area. So, I'm just going to stand here and let him come to me as I had been doing before. Come on, Didi. Come get it. So he came to me. His reward is he gets to eat. Actually, I'll move it here a little bit because that way we'll be a bit more in camera view. So I'm going to stand on this side. The bucket will be over here beside my right. I literally just went to reach into my phone and check my phone and realized I'm filming with said phone. Come on, Diddy. Diddy. Come on. Bye. 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 So see here, he went as far away from me as possible. I'm only going to put my hand out, let him see if he's going to, you know, accept the fact, because before we've touched him before, he's a little bit flighty, the girls are a little bit moody, so I'm going to take one little step back, he moved, so I'm going to stay in this position until he comes back. Even if my arm gets sore. Come on, Dee Dee. Boy. So he's still standing really far away from me. Alright guys, I just got a text message from one of my clients. So, I'm going to stand a little bit further back from the bucket again. Now remember, he has let me touch him before, but that was after a couple days of progress. It's been like about a week or so since I've tried to do anything with him. Because, one, it's been really cold and crappy weather, and I've just been working 24-7. So right now he keeps circling. 
if I do get the chance to halter him, this is my slide over the ear halter, but I have undone it, so it will be a normal throw it over the ears. Because if I can get to touch him again, I should be able to reach my arm over him again and hopefully get this on. Don't even know if it will fit him, but if it fit a little, it should fit him. is right behind me sniffing my jacket. I'm not going to move and I'm not even going to acknowledge the fact that he's there. I can feel him playing with my jacket a bit there. You see his ear kind of behind me. Now he's back with a beat pulp. When he turns away, I'm going to go back to my position. I'm still going to keep my foot in the walking position that I was going to move into. I'm just on my toe. Oh, that wind is going to make my phone fall. off guys because it's going to be a very long process so if there's any change I'll let you know. Hey guys so um, we got the halter on D. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> well quite the fight. He slammed me into the wall quite a few times. I'm going to have quite the bruise on my hip 
basically once I got the halter onto his nose and he it was on like pretty good I just couldn't get the top up he uh, spun and whirled around but I managed to keep it on his nose and then he eventually just stopped and gave up and let me put it on so now we're doing the calm down thing and then we will be doing some lead training and we'll see how well that goes because he likes to spin my horses are literally like assholes but got him rehaltered